Hey folks, we have with us today the Brain Bag Backpack from Tom Bin. We were talking today on the forum about how some things could be packed into either the Brain Bag, which has a 36 liter capacity, or into the Synapse 25, another backpack from Tom Bin, which has a 25 liter capacity. The forum member described a situation where he's carrying things for his three kids. Uh, the outing might include going swimming, so he's got to change of clothes as well as towels for the kids. He's got snacks, water, activities, books, and, and toys, and so forth. So we got pretty much everything into the brain bag or representatives for those items uh, that we talked about. The only thing I couldn't fit in here was a ball. And this is a football. It's, it's fully inflated. I, uh, it looks the size that it does because it's a junior size ball, but let's see what we can do to get that into our pack. What we'll do is we'll unpack the brain bag from the back and work our way forward. The brain bag has compression straps. Uh, they're, they're not tightened because the bag is packed at capacity. Let's go ahead and undo the top ones so that we can get inside the pack. What we did to help organize all the things we wanted to bring along is use packing cubes. This is a packing cube shoulder bag. We have snacks in here. I'm going to set that aside for just a moment and show you we've got two more packing cubes in this rear main compartment that have inside the towels for when the kiddos go swimming. This purple one here has two towels now these are full-size cotton bath towels. They're wonderful to use, but they also take up a wonderful bit of space. So two here, and then one more in this packing cube. So I know there was a preference, uh, as we talked about on the forum, for using full-size cotton bath towels, but I just wanted to show you an alternative I have here, these are travel size towels. This packing cube has three of them. It probably takes up a quarter of the space of the three full size cotton bath towels. And just wanted to show you, this is my favorite. This is made out of linen. It takes a fraction of the space. I like this so much that this has become my regular bath towel. I have two others here that are synthetic. Uh, this is from Sea to Summit, and this one's from REI. So this is fairly thin, this is kind of medium size, and this is thicker, but still you could fit three of these into this much smaller packing cube. So the reason I, I'm bringing this up is that if you're willing to consider travel towels, we can very easily fit this into this compartment along with our snacks and our football. We we'll probably put a full-size football in there as well along with, with some other things. This compartment in the back is not at capacity. As you can see, there's still space for uh, a few more things. So just something to consider. I'm going to go ahead and set the towels aside for a moment. Now, this packing cube we mentioned had our snacks. I know you talked about using applesauce, bringing along applesauce. I didn't have applesauce in my pantry, but I grabbed some things that are representative of uh, applesauce. That's probably the size of a couple of containers of applesauce. Here's uh, another container and more. And then some bars, uh, had kind bars, and a protein bar. The nice thing is that once we eat our snacks and recycle the containers, our packing cube doesn't take up a whole lot of space. So these were our travel towels that we just talked about. And then you mentioned activity books. I found in my son's playroom a Star Wars uh, Use the Force activity book. And then I grabbed a couple of my favorite books, The Three Little Wolves and The Big Bad Pig, and A Giraffe and a Half. So that's it for the rear main compartment. Let's go to our next main compartment. 
and we have again more packing cubes. So this is actually the side effect now of packing cube. But I have in here Pokemon cards. My son loves, uh, they play po with Pokemon cards. I don't know, I don't understand why he needs so many, but this is just a fraction of what, what was there. And then he loves bringing Legos along. So uh, I just grabbed a bunch of Legos and, and put them in there. And then I have three packing cubes for the clothes for the kiddos. So the way I pack these, if I may take a little bit of space right over here, uh, if you imagine the large one is for the oldest, the medium is for the next oldest, and the lightest packed one is for the youngest, that may be representative of uh, what may be required. I didn't raid my son's closet because he's sleeping right now, but I, I put some of my clothes in here. I know you mentioned a hoodie, so hoodies, I understand, can be, uh, depending on if they're thin or, or thick, they can take more or less space, but uh, I, have, I have a cotton t-shirt, underwear, socks, and uh, a pair of men's jeans in here to represent the, the large load. Uh, Packing cubes are great because you know you can hand each kid their, their cube and say, here you go, you can go change. Uh, or if you, even if you're helping them out, it's nice to keep the clothes separate. Uh, you had mentioned a frisbee, I threw a frisbee in here. So that's it for the main front compartment. And then you had mentioned bringing beverages along. I think you said two water bottles, but I put three in here. One is uh, in the spot where the water bottle would would go, but I, I used the front pockets for uh, putting one more, the one I pulled out. So this is our, our second water bottle. And then I thought you may want to have a beverage as well, so here's your water bottle in here. And then this top compartment I thought would be useful for, again, your things. So uh, a phone a wallet, keys, and then to make sure you have energy, um, if you can't find coffee, a coffee bar. So that's everything that the brain bag uh, will hold. Now it would be fun I think to do an experiment, I haven't tried this with this stuff, but let's see how all of these things, if we go the route of the travel tower, let's see how all of this fits into the Synapse 25. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it'll be a fun experiment. So, not even going to try the full-size towels because we know the brain bag with 11 more liters of capacity uh, was, was filled to the gills. So, let's see how we do with these items in our Synapse 25. I'm just going to repack the clothes into the packing cube that we emptied. And then our snacks. Back into the pack and cube shoulder bag. I love using different colored packing cubes to easily help identify what items are in which pack, in which packing cube rather. Same goes for, for packs, right? I traveled uh, with a couple of friends and we all brought aeronauts and they were all different colors so we, we each knew which was our bag. So let's see what we can do to pack these things in here. Here's our towels. Let's take the clothes. Put those at the bottom. Now the way that the Synapse is designed is the internal uh, separation between the main compartment and the front compartments is such that it can move back and forth so it's up to you depending on how you load the pack how much capacity is dedicated to each space so all of our packing cubes except for our food has made it in here now let's take a different approach with the food Uh, place our representatives for the applesauce 
directly into this lower front compartment. food is all down here. I don't know if that's the best organization, but uh, it's one approach. We'll go ahead and take our books and slip them into. There's an internal organization pocket. Uh, I'm going to slip the books into that compartment. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm going to place them all the way in the back so that they're right up against my back when I have the pack on. And then let's take our, one of our water bottles. I probably can't fit three water bottles as big as the ones that I had grabbed uh, to place into the Synapse 25. So there's one. I'm pretty sure that, let's see, let's use, based on what we have, I think this is the 16 ounce Hydro Flask will fit into the side compartment. We'll uh, place, actually have a one, yeah, just one key strap here. So I'll set that one aside. I'll grab my keys, attach them to this key strap. And grab my wallet, attach them again to this O-ring. All of that is there. I'm going to move my coffee bar and put it with the kids' snacks, even though I know the kids shouldn't have the coffee bar. Um, and then I'll use the uh, ultra suede pocket for my phone. Slide that in there. So uh, let's see how we're doing. We can slide the frisbee, I guess, into that internal pocket if it'll fit in there. Okay, yeah, it fits in there. And then I think I can take the Legos and Pokemon cards with the, in the side effect. And I think I've filled it a little to capacity. Well, no, that'll close. Okay. So I did pretty good. Um, I would say this pack right now, the Synapse 25, is overpacked. I, I need to reduce. Um, because that's that's not that's not good. I'm putting too much in there, so I think that's actually uh, they're pretty good points. I, I want to be able to easily open and close the zippers. I don't want to stress the zippers. Um, that's still kind of bulging a little bit, but you get the idea. Sorry, you get the idea of what will fit into the Synapse 25 versus the brain bag. We got everything in here except for our toys, our frisbee, one of the bottles, and the ball. Uh, and all of this had fit nicely into into the brain bag. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Uh, excited to see what you end up choosing and how it works out for you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now.